Good morning, Kay Kelly. This week's topic, <clears throat> due to a number of different requests, is on an OSHA topic called, called in the cold, if you will, working in the cold. It comes in under general duty, 1910.132, and we're gonna talk about the cold because of some requests, not from within Kay Kelly, but a lot of other companies in construction and those that work out in the cold. So, overexposure to cold, indoors or outdoors, can be harmful to one's health. Frostbite. Body tissues may freeze when the skin's exposed to extreme cold or touches a very cold object, per se. The nose, ears, cheeks, fingers, and toes are our greatest risk. Worst cases, it can cause permanent tissue damage, loss of movement in the affected parts, and possibly unconsciousness up to and including death from heart failure. Damage may be greater if the body is thawed, then re thawed, then refrozen. Hyperthermia, exposure to cold, may send body temperatures to dangerously low levels. It can occur in the above freezing temperatures when it's windy or you're exhausted or wearing wet clothes. Worst cases can lead to unconsciousness or death. Factors that increase the risk of frostbite and hyperthermia include the following. Age, overweight, smoking and drinking, certain medications, allergies or poor circulation, victims, failure to recognize symptoms and take prompt action. Reduce the risk of exposure to extreme cold by avoid bathing, smoking, or drinking alcohol during going into cold temperatures. Wear layers of clothes, loose clothes dry and dry. If possible, wear wool underneath and waterproof layer on top. Uh, always cover your hands, feet, face, and head from cold. An uncovered head can make the body lose up to 40% of its heat. Change and get dry immediately if clothes get wet. Keep moving while working in the cold. Take regular breaks in warm areas. Move to warm area when you start to feel very cold or numb. Have warm alcohol free, caffeine free drink. Recognize frostbite and hypothermia symptoms. Frostbite includes the following. Feeling extremely cold, then numb, with possible tingling, aching, or brief pain. White or grayish yellow glossy skin, which may blister. Confusion, failing eyesight, and shock, a condition that progresses. Hypothermia symptoms include chills, shivering, numbness, and sometimes pain in the extremities. Splur slurred speech, poor circulation, confusion, and drowsiness. Respond quickly and correctly to frostbite and hypothermia symptoms. Act immediately when the symptoms develop to prevent serious injuries. How? Move to warm place. Replace frozen, wet, and tight clothes with warm clothes or blankets. Drink warm beverage without alcohol or caffeine. Get medical help and first aid if needed. Take first aid actions from frostbite if it were to occur. Warm the frozen part immediately with blankets and warm, not hot water. Avoid touching the frozen part. Don't rub or hit it. Keep the frozen part away from hot stoves, heat lamps, or hot water bottles. Don't break any blisters and drink anything that has caffeine. Exercise the body part once it's warm, but don't walk on frostbitten feet. Take first aid actions for hypothermia. Cover the victim with blankets and lie next to the person to give body heat. Don't use hot baths, electric blankets, or hot water bottles. Keep the person awake and give artificial respiration if it's needed. Get emergency help immediately if the person loses a consciousness. Ask 
participants what jobs could expose them to dangerous cold levels or out. Conclusion, when it's cold, be constantly alert to the health hazards. Dress and move and prevent frostbite and hypothermia. Act immediately if you or someone around you experiences the symptoms. And remember, always make the right choice by thinking ahead when it's cold to cover and have layers of, to cover any open skin elements such as the face, face, the hands, all right, any and all exposed parts of our body. That's my message for the week. Have a great and safe week. Take care.